Hi everyone, today I want to talk about the difference between the Proposition 8 Decline in Value Form and the Application for Change Assessment in Sacramento County. And I know you're thinking, wow, can we get any more boring? This is great, let's talk about the IRS tax code too, but trust me, this is actually really good information. If you're considering appealing your property taxes, it's essential to be able to make a well-informed decision to know the distinction between these two separate forms because one is an appeal and one is not. There's a lot of confusion about this. Every year I see people fill out the wrong form or just generally have a misunderstanding about how to go about appealing your property taxes. So I hope this is helpful. The first form is the Proposition 8 Decline in Value form. As you can see on the screen, this form asks for basic information about your property and then asks the homeowner to provide two comparable sales within the first quarter of the year. Okay, it's pretty pretty easy to fill out and the better research you provide the better chance of the assessor agreeing with you. And so provide good research, provide good support, even if it's just at minimum those two sales. The advantage of this is that it's absolutely free. There's no cost whatsoever. Uh, but the disadvantage is that I think sometimes uh, people tend to not hear back from the assessor. They'll turn in this form and then never hear anything. But beyond that, the major disadvantage is that it's not an appeal. And so when the deadline to dispute property taxes comes on November 30th, and when that date is over, and the only thing you have on file with the assessor is the decline in value form, you don't have any recourse. Okay? There's nothing that you can do after the fact. You can't continue to have that conversation and say, well, but my property taxes really are too high. They might be too high, but since you did not fill out the correct form, then there's nothing that can happen. So which is the correct form? It's called the Application for Change Assessment. Here's what it looks like. You can see it asks you for basic property information and then you can really provide whatever support you need and I just encourage the, the better support you have, the stronger your case. Um, make, makes sense to me and I've seen results with that. But the disadvantage to the Application for Change Assessment is that there's a $30 cost and to file a formal appeal and you're thinking, well what? You mean, I thought it was free to appeal your property taxes it's actually not. Um, the assessor instituted a fee in Sacramento about uh, three or four years ago and most assessors uh, offices, the appeals boards, they, uh, they also charge anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars and so there is that fee but the main advantage to actually filling out the application for changed assessment is that you do have recourse. So say you fill it out, November 30th the deadline to appeal passes and then the assessor eventually reviews your file. Say they don't agree with your opinion of value. Well, that's okay because then you can begin to talk with their office. Uh, there will be an appeals hearing set up eventually, but you can try to resolve it beforehand. If you have a really strong case, you can call, talk to the appraiser. Or if you, you know, if I do work for you, then then I do that for you, and uh, begin to. Uh, have dialogue about about the property and so that's so so crucial here's my recommendation if you really want to fill out the decline in value form I say go for it do that in early July you know see see what you can do but if you've not heard back from the assessor by the beginning of November then definitely fill out the application for change assessment okay very very crucial highly recommend it and if you have any questions at all about your property or whether you're over assessed or not, um, or just about the process in general, give me a call, 916-595-3735. Hope this was helpful, just want to be a resource to you. Thanks.